Hi, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who know, my name is Paris. I'm a mom and a wife. Um, I'm currently back at work, so we have that going for me. Um, we have a lot going on right now. This video is going to be on my book collection that I have going. I do constantly buy new books and then I get rid of my old books that I'm not reading anymore or that I just don't feel like they align with me right now or I'm just not into reading them right now. So it's not as many as it used to be. I did get rid of a lot of books recently. So um, make sure you like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, so before I get in, let me just give you a little synopsis of today. It is currently Monday, October 5th. This will be up tomorrow, October 6th. And today um, I'm back at work. So today was my first day back. And boy, I have been out of work since September of last year. Um, with pregnancy, it was really rough. So. I actually wasn't able to work, which sucked. But I'm back in it now, baby girl six months, so it's perfect timing. Um, she just got her six month shots on the 29th, no the 30th, the 30th of September. So she's good to go, um, no reactions this time, thankfully. Um, yeah, so we're just hopping back into the swing of things and trying to figure out things. Um, the next video will probably be a baby food haul because um I've tried making homemade baby food and I've done like quite a bit of it but with me going back to work it's a lot harder for me to do that and make sure I have time for my daughter and make sure I have time for my husband so my main focus is my family so I'm going we're going to go shopping for baby food and actually give her the parade pureed baby foods and all that good stuff so I'll show you what we get from that um, and then basically like just a little mini grocery haul for what we actually get because I'll probably have to get some juices and some eggs and milk. Yeah, so I like a list running. But anyways, my hair's a little messy because I was at work. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on these books. The first book, I actually just finished it and she came out with a second book to this one. So it's in a series. I think there's going to be third, three or four. The third one comes out in March next year, but I have the first two. So here is Crave. It's by Tracy Wolf. It's a really good book. Um, it's basically like about werewolves, vampires, all that good stuff. So it's a fantasy book. It's really good. It's for young adults. The second one is out. I'm trying to remember what's the name. It's called Crush. So the second one to this is out. It's in my other room. That's why I'm not going to show you it. But I bought that. And then we have... the after series so I have after after we collided after we fell and then after ever happy which I don't like that title it just irritates me so I just got them in because um, I had lost my other I don't know if they were lost or stolen but my other set so got those next up we have the Bible obviously which is in my room is next to my uh, in Mine in my husband's room next to my de my side of the bed, so that. Then we have these, which are 365 Devotions of Hope. Um, I got this from Barnes & Noble. Everyday Kindness, I got this from Barnes & Noble. Basically, just a bunch from Barnes & Noble. A Cup of Wisdom, Barnes & Noble. This one's more of like a journal for, for reflection. And then these ones are like things you can do every day and nice little verses next up whoops we have a plethora of books you'll get through this by max lucado really good book if you're going through anything whether it's lost um the loss of a loved one uh financial stability or anything like that i would recommend reading that these i had to read for class so we have the republic of suffering I was a history major, so this was just, I love these books. Apostle of Disunion. Good book. If you need any of these for like your classes or your recommendations, hit me up. I got you. A Short History of Reconstruction. And then Confederates in the Attic. This is a really good book. I feel like everyone should read that. So much cat hair. You can definitely tell where my cat's been. All right. Um... So instead of taking them out, I'm going to read the titles off because this bookshelf actually looks really nice. I'll show you at, maybe 
I should just turn this and show you. It's a little messy in here because I just took a bunch of books out, but zing. So they're all nicely put in there for the first two shelves. So let me just read them off. We have the Fifty Shades of Grey, the entire trilogy. So I have all those, which is Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed. I used to have the book Grey, but I didn't like it, so got rid of it. Next up is Sweet Obsession by Maya Banks. And then also by Maya Banks, I have Be With Me. Those are two really good books. I got those when I was like 18, so they're all they're eight years old. Eight years, because I'm 26. I keep forgetting my age. Next up is Haven of Obedience. I've never actually read that. It was a gift. I just don't really. It was a birthday gift. I just don't want to read it. Um, then we have the Grimm's Fairy Tales, the originals, which I'm really excited about. And then we have One Day by David Nicholas. My cat sitting next to me comfortable thank you and then we have 12 shades of surrender and then it's beautiful disaster i remember i talked about that in another video but it's such a good book oh my gosh it's a nice little love story <laughs> and it's not like a toxic love story it's actually a good love story by jamie mcclure and then we have sweet seduction by maya banks again that was a gift i haven't actually read it so yeah and then we have what happens when women say yes to God? I started reading that like two years ago. I've read through it multiple times. I'm on gonna start reading it again, um, probably at the end of the beginning of next month. I start typically I read it for the month of November. It's the last two years. It just it re uh, solidifies my place in Christ and what I'm supposed to be doing in life and things like that. Next up would be mother father death i had that i had to read that for my asl class and it's a really good book if you would like to be educated on um, asl or deaf culture it's really good and then we have just for now by glines slow seduction sweet surrender by my things so if you guys aren't catching on to what i like to read like sometimes i like to read you should be they're basically for young adults they're not for children that's why this is my collection. And then we have Lost Rose, which is actually, I'm going to show you. This is an amazing book. You should read this. Oh, it's so good. It's basically um, pre-World War I. So it's like right before it starts. And it's just, it's about um, a group of girls. I'll just read this in that shish. It's a, based in New York and... Uh, Basically, two cousins um, travel, are traveling, um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, okay, so basically, two cousins, they're traveling together, and then they end up getting split up because of the brink of, because of war. And then one makes it back to America, the other one ends up having to stay in the country, I believe. They were in suburbia, Serbia? Maybe. Either Serbia or Germany. One of the two. But they end up, the family that stays ends up having to go live out in the country estate. And then they have to hire help. And it's basically like just this whole entire story surrounding war. It's actually pretty cool. And then we have Women's America. Which, if you are a man, please read Women's America. If you are anyone, read it. Okay? I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's an actual textbook for one of my history classes. This is so good. So good. Good information on women's rights, women's history. You need to know it. And then we have A Christmas Treasury, which is all the classic Christmas stories. Some are a little bit more like dark than I would like, so we're not. I don't know if I'm going to read them to Amira, but we'll see. Oh, I also have a Bible in here. But yeah, so those are my book collections. I know I didn't show you the pictures of most of them, but honestly, there are so many, and taking them out is just a lot a lot of work oh I skipped a couple there's also I have the Dave Ramsey the total money makeover that was a gift we've read through it. it's really good read it or if you don't like budgeting you can also watch YouTube budgeting videos it works out either way and then I have war and genocide that was also for one of my classes um and it looks like this it's a concise history of the Holocaust the Holocaust happened it is real 
if you want to read up on it, read this book. It's a really good book. And it's actually a pretty easy read. They have like pictures and then it explains the pictures and like there's not a lot of reading in it. I absolutely loved it. I highlighted quite a bit. <laughs> Thank you to Dr. Crane because she's the one who got us to read this and she's an amazing professor. But yeah, so um, that will conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, have a blessed week. Make sure you keep your head up, drink lots of water, and happy fall, y'all. Bye.